Hey, and welcome to the live Velocity Sessions here today. This is Greg, and in today's live broadcast, we're gonna be doing something uh, kind of fun. Uh, we are going to be going down, dissecting, and creating uh, an actual product and an offer live here today. And it's something that uh, we've been getting a lot of people coming in and saying, look, you know, I bought this guy's training and that guy, and it's not to take away anything from these trainings, but it's the fact that you've been going through and doing a lot of this stuff, but yet you don't have anything to show for it. You haven't created your course yet or launched your offer yet or put it out into the marketplace. And so, uh, you know, I've been thinking about an, an offer that I wanna put out into the marketplace, even though like we're still obviously heavily promoting Velocity and uh, the good old ambitious video planner. If you don't have one, you should. Uh, but I thought that I would just go through my thought process as to how we create programs, products, and offers and answer your questions as we go throughout the process. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and play the good old intro music, and then uh, we'll get this show on the road in today's episode of The Velocity Sessions. We believe that your dreams, goals, and ambitions are too important to push off until tomorrow. And we know that the fire inside of you needs to be unleashed so you can make a difference in people's lives. That's why we want you to create and build your business at warp speed. This is The Velocity Sessions. All right, welcome to the Velocity Sessions. And again, like I said, this is not gonna be perfect. I don't have slides for this. I didn't like prepare, you know, like a hundred different slides for this. What I'm gonna do is really just show you in real time how we are creating these things and how we're putting them together. And so uh, I'm real excited for you guys to be here, to be a part of this as we put this together for you and we do it live uh, in this broadcast. And uh, I got a whole bunch of things in the background that I wanna make sure that I uh, get rid of here. Uh, and if you're here, make sure that you say hello, make sure that you are, uh, you know, doing all the fun things. I think I can put people on the screen. I don't really know how to do this stuff um, yet. I'm still learning the good old Ecamm. So uh, what I have is uh, an Evernote document that looks like this. And I'm going to walk through my thought process about how I put these kind of programs products together. And so what I'm gonna do is pull that up. You guys should see that on the screen. And you know, the first thing that we wanna think about when putting a program product together is you know what i think about is you know what is the goal right so what is the goal of creating this program product or service is is the goal strictly revenue or profit there's nothing wrong with that right but is that the goal is it uh revenue profit is it something for like immediate or is it something long term is this a one-off or is this gonna be an asset? So these are kind of the things that I think about as I'm putting this together. Is this something where I'm like, all right, I have a hole in the calendar next week and I need to create something. Let's go ahead and just make this a quick one-off thing. Or is this something like, all right, this is a course that I could probably sell for the next you know, three months, six months, nine months, two years, whatever that is. Is it, is it that? Is it something where, oh man, we're short on revenue this month. We need to generate revenue next week. So we're looking for an immediate thing that we can put together. So I start looking at those kinds of things. When I start thinking about that, um, you know, then I start thinking about, well, in order to achieve those goals, should it be a service or should it be a course? Because a service uh, in, in this regard could be like high, high ticket. How that I could do something that is maybe I need a, a high ticket and a low volume is what I'm gonna put. And then you have lower ticket, which is higher volume. So, you know, in the case of what I'm gonna talk to you guys about today and put that together, is it something high ticket where I maybe only need five to 10 people in a program? Or is it something where I'm looking for, uh, you know, kind of do I need 50 or 100 or 200 or 300 people in the program? So those are the things that I start thinking about. So now let me go and, and put this to tangible use. So the program that I'm thinking about is a program that uh, we are calling the Ambitious Live Launch how to create an online course at warp speed. Um, so this is what that I wanna put together. Uh, and it's essentially what we did when we created Velocity is we created a course like on the fly. We had the idea for it on a Friday, started selling it on Monday, created it live the following Friday, and now we have this asset. So you know, I wanna teach other people how to do that. I wanna teach other people how to create these things super duper fast. Like how can we create these things in a weekend, in, in a week? And so 
what we can do here is a few different things. I'm trying to just bump some of that off the screen is we could offer, uh, you know, a service that actually does this for them or does it with them, or we could launch a course to teach them how to do this, how to create that course very, very rapidly. So again, going back to the goal. So what would be the goal? Do we want revenue or do we want profit? Um, is that the only goal? Is this an immediate or long-term thing? Is it a one off or is it an asset? Well, uh, what I would really like to build is is an asset, something that we can sell and launch to our list, maybe quarterly, something that I could bring up whenever I'm talking about courses and say, hey, yo, just check out the Ambitious Live Launch, the brand, it's a program that we have, yada, yada. So I'm looking at it as an asset as opposed to something that is one off. And that means that I'm likely going to create it as a course and not as a service. Um, because again, that's the goal that I want. Now, for some of you, I'll do the flip side of this, is that we might wanna do this as a one off and might turn into an asset if it goes well, and then we would do something like a service. So the asset and the course, the course, I would launch my live launch in the same method that I would teach the live launch. And so I look at this and I say, all right, well, I'm gonna create a course. Um, it's gonna be an asset. I need accountability in order to create the course. So that's why I wanna do it live in the first place. But let's say our goal would be, let's have a $99 price point, and we would like to sell 100 units which is going to bring in just shy of $10,000 in sales. So that would be how I look at it. I'm looking to create an asset, looking to create a course. When we launch it, let's get 100 sales, let's sell it at $100, and we would generate $10,000 in revenue. Doing it as a one-off or a service, I might say, all right, well, we could probably do this as you know something that's $5,000 um, in a done for you. Uh, can we sell 10 of them? And can we generate, you know, uh, in here, it'd be like a multiple, right? It'd be $50,000 in revenue. And I start to see that and I'm like, all right, well, if I'm projecting these things, like, wow, like that is a that is a really, really big difference. So if you're thinking about the difference between $10,000 and $50,000, but the problem with the, uh, you know, the $50,000 one is A, there's a ton of work. I have to do a lot of work in that. I'm gonna have to work with everyone. I'm gonna have to create their course. I'm gonna have to do all this. Uh, there's no long-term asset, except maybe the sales letter. I could probably reuse the sales letter but like if i create a course for uh, i'm looking at some of the people on now like like fred if i created a course with fred it'd be great it would be a great launch for him i would get the five thousand dollars fred would get the course he'd be happy it'd be great but i didn't create an asset necessarily that i could continue to resell when i create the course even though i'm i'm sacrificing short-term revenue now i have a course that maybe over the course of a year or two years might well exceed that ten thousand dollars if it's an asset, well, then I could also use it to uh, as a bonus to certain things, or I could use it as a front end, or I could use it in a, a funnel as like a one-click offer or a one-time offer, uh, you know, all those different kinds of things. So this is what I think about when I think about like, what's the goal of this and how we put it together. So for the sake of this demonstration that I'm doing for you guys here today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build both of them out for you. I'm gonna build both out so that you can see how I would create it as a course and then how I would create it as a service because I know some of you guys wanna sell you know, sell high ticket services or coaching or consulting, whatever that is, uh, and some of you want to sell online courses. And so I'm gonna do both of them for you here today so that you can see how, how I think about putting both of these together. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna head back to Evernote and let's build out the course version. So when I build out the course version, what I'm looking for first, before I ever start building out the modules and what's gonna be in them, is I wanna build out the offer. And I wanna make the offer as irresistible as possible. And so in order to make the offer as irresistible as possible, I start thinking about what is the result or transformation that I want this product to have. So if someone buys this, what is the result or transformation? That they are going to have a course and uh, a course completed and launched within 30 days, right? So that would be like the result of the transformation. You don't have a course, if you buy this fictitious product that I'm creating right now, that is probably actually going to turn into a product, um, you would have your course not just completed, but launched within 30 days. That's a big piece of it. I don't want you just to have a bunch of videos on, on your computer or in your Dropbox. I want you to have launched this. Um, and then if I wanna make it even better, launched, and sold. So now I want you to generate a sale within those first 30 days. So that's like the result or transformation. Now, in order to help you make that transformation, 
Now we start thinking about, all right, well, how can I help someone to do this? What are the steps that it's going to take in order to create this? And uh, I really thought that I brought my iPad with me because I was gonna draw all this out. And that's why I'm using Evernote here. So uh, bear with me a little bit as I, I have to type all this stuff. I was just gonna draw it on the screen, which would be way cooler. Uh, but I apparently left the, uh, the iPad at home. So, um, so in order to get someone that result, well, what do I need to teach them? I need to teach them uh, how to come up with course idea. Uh, I need to teach them how to come up with big promise and transformation. I need to teach them how to create course outline. I need to teach them how to turn outline into slides, documents, worksheets. All right, um, so that would be like all the stuff that I need to teach someone in order to uh, create their course, right? Then in order to launch it, we are going to do the launch in this methodology uh, is actually gonna be done live. So they're going to get on something like Zoom or Ecamm or Facebook like I am now, and they're gonna teach their entire course and they're going to teach it in a live setting. And they're actually going to sell it before they ever create the course. So what we need to do here is I need to teach them how to pre-sell the course. And in order to pre-sell the course, we're gonna need to create a sale, we're gonna have to create the sales copy, um, we're gonna have to create the sales video, we're gonna have to create the sales page, um, we're going to have to create emails uh, to get people to sales page, we're gonna have to create Facebook ad copy, and Facebook ads, uh, and then I'd probably teach them some partner promotional strategies, right? So that way, like maybe they got a, a buddy who wants to promote it or a Facebook group or something like that. So I teach them all that. So now this is like the, the live launch. Um, then you actually have launch day. So again, this is just like logical, right? So I'm just going in order. So uh, of how I would create this course. So the first step is we got to think about the course. So it's how to come up with the idea, how to do this. After we've come up with the idea for the course, well, then the next step is we gotta go sell the course because we're gonna go pre-sell it. And these are all the steps that need to happen in order to pre-sell the course. Then on launch day, I have to teach them how to present the course, um, how to record the course. Um, then we're gonna have how to edit the course, um, how to engage with people live, um, you know, how to edit the course once it's over, uh, and, and all these things. And then you have after the launch day, what we're gonna do is turn the marketing evergreen, create new sales page, put course in members area, sell it, right? So these are kind of the different pillars of the course. And it's really a four module course. And I create almost all my courses in fours. So this is like, again, you're hearing, seeing my thinking on the fly. And so this would kind of be, um, you know, module one, live launch course idea. This would be module two, like it's the launch and doing it live and getting ready. And actually it's, it's more about pre selling the course. Um, then you have module three, which is launch day. And then you have module four after the launch day. So that would essentially be the course that I would create. So it's not about overthinking and doing too much here. What we're trying to do here is just establish, all right, well, what, what do I need to teach in order to get the result? And you can see, like, I did this in, you know, what, three minutes, four minutes, I outlined an entire course because all I did was I looked at, all right, if someone is here, right, they're at point A and they want to get to over here, which is point B, well, what are the things that need to happen to fill in the blanks to get them from over here to over here? That's all we're trying to do here is how do I get them from here to here? And if you can do that, that's ultimately what people will pay for. They pay for results. They pay to go from over here to over here. And that's all this course is. So if you look at these modules that I created here, you know, I don't have a course is, is on one side. And then I have a course, I've launched it and I've sold it. 
So in order to get them from no course to course launched and sold, what are the four steps that I need to take someone through in order to do that? And this is exactly what I would teach. So and again, this is laid out. That's how I would create the course. Now what I would do um, is I would take these and then I would say, all right, well, how do now I just now I just do it like meta, right? So how to come up with the course idea? Well, how do I teach somebody to come up with the course idea? How do I teach someone to come up with the big promise or transformation? How do I teach someone to create their course outline? How do I teach someone how to uh, turn an outline into slides, documents, and worksheets? How do I teach that? So now I have kind of the, the big pillars and then I have all the teaching steps underneath. That's how I create a course. And it, it, again, it just try to take all of the things that you, you think need to go into something like this and just back it out. At the end of the day, what people really want to pay for is a specific result. They don't want to know every single thing you've ever learned over the last 10, 20, 30, 40 years of your life. What they want to know is I don't have this and I want this. How can I get there as quick as possible? And that's why I always like steps like in four steps. Um, really funny right before uh, right before I got on uh, this stream I did this for a client we got on and we mapped out his entire course and we did it in a 30 minute phone call and so what I did is I just asked him some questions I was like hey where is your market where do they want to be what do they need to go so this is one page of notes that I took in a 30 minute call and I just again drew out the diagram drew out some things asked him some questions and we ultimately ended up with all right well there's four modules there's an intro and a foundation uh, there's two modules here and there's two modules here and the course was done and outlined in 30 minutes and now we can move on you don't have to put so much pressure on yourself and now as you go through some of this stuff you're going to start to see like all right well i need to add something here there's a gap or a hole here but it also lends itself into well what's the next product what's the next program what do we need to like if you put everything into one course well then they don't need to buy your next thing or join the next program or like whatever it is and it's not that you're intentionally like leaving out gaps that's not what it's about it's about you know what do i need to teach and how can i teach it as fast and effectively as possible to get someone the result that they desire because at the end of the day that's what you want to get people is a result and in this case that's the result that i'm going to get them so here is again the course outline if you want to see that um so now we have this so this would be the course that i would create now let's talk a little bit about if i was going to turn this into a service so if I was gonna turn this into a service, essentially I would be doing all of this stuff for a client. And, and what I would do is I would then just back it into a 30 day timeline, all right? So now it would just be a done for you or done with you service. So done for you um, or done with you. And in order for me to make it, let's say, let's call it a $5,000 service, which is probably close to what we would offer something like this at. In order to make this a $5,000 service, what do I need to do? What do I need to come up with in order to help people to do all of these things? So, you know, basically this becomes my sales letter. So, you know, as soon as you sign on, what we're gonna do is we're going to create your course idea. And I'm gonna help you to come up with the idea. I'm gonna help you to come up with your big promise or transformation. And then I'm going to physically create your course outline for you. So again, now I'm just turning into all these things. Like, I'm just gonna do it for you. Then once we have the outline and once you approve it, well, then we're gonna go and we're gonna start creating all the stuff that you need in order to sell the course. So my team is gonna start working on a sales page. I'm gonna script out your sales video. You're gonna film it with your phone and then you're gonna send it to us and then my team's going to edit it all fancy for you then we're going to put it onto the sales page so again now i'm taking care of the sales copy i'm taking care of the sales page i'm editing their sales video for them uh my team is going to write the email so that you can send them to your email list my team is going to create some facebook creative and we're going to send that to you um you know this might be a bonus or something that i offer so i actually might take that out uh, and offer it as a bonus. And as a bonus, when you sign up today, we're also gonna give you a three-part email sequence that you can send to promotional partners to get them to promote your course for you. So that's probably something I would pull out and offer it as a bonus in the program. Um, then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna present the course with you. I can co-host it with you. You could do it by yourself and I can just operate as the producer. So now, again, I'm just doing all the work for them. And now it becomes really worthwhile because they got someone to write sales copy and do their sales video and do like, so again, all I'm doing is I'm taking the same outline, same concept, same breakdown. And now instead of you know uh, four videos, I'm just gonna do all the work for them. And that's how we look at creating a lot of our services. Again, the, the big thing what I wanted you to see here is like we've only been live for like 19 minutes. And in 19 minutes, I came up with the idea, I built the course, and I created a service around this. 
And now what it's time to do is it's time to turn these into actual offers that you can launch into the marketplace. Creating the product, creating the idea for the product, like you need to do this at blazing fast speed. You need to be able to do this really, really quickly so that you can get this out there, you can launch it. So if, if I were gonna take this to the next step, right? If I was like, all right, I think I have a good idea here. Now, how do I get this out into the marketplace? How do I take this and see if people actually wanna buy this, if people wanna be a part of this? What, what do I need to do in order to kind of take that next step? Well, what I would do is what is the fastest way to get this to the marketplace? So for me, what I would do you know, to test this offer, the first thing I would not do is I wouldn't launch, uh, I wouldn't create the product first right? Like, and a lot of you, I think, meticulously obsess over everything that needs to go in the package. Again, whether it's a service or whether it's a course or it's a, like, whatever the case is, I'm not creating it until I see if the marketplace actually wants it. So one of the first things we teach in Velocity, one of the principles is you let the marketplace decide if your idea is any good or if your idea sucks. So, you know, whether my idea here for what I'm telling you about today is good or not, I have no idea. Like, and I, I do know it's good because we've launched it as a done for you service. We sold it out uh, about 30 days ago. And, um, you know, we've already done two of these live. I got three more live ones I'm doing next week with clients. So like, I know the offer works, but uh, now I wanna turn it into a course. So that's why it was kind of good timing to do this today. So now, in order to test this offer, I'm like, all right, well, let's do this course. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, and let me uh, throw this back up there, is I am going to send three emails to my email list. I'm gonna go live uh, on Facebook, and I'm gonna spend, uh, let's just say, $100 on ads. Now, the reason why I picked spend $100 on ads is because this course is $100. So can I spend $100 and generate one sale and then I'm break even? Now at least I've validated the fact that, all right, let's go spend some more money on some ads. So that's that's kind of, again, this is just to test the offer and see if anybody wants it. And so what I would do is I would write those three emails, I would do a couple Facebook Lives, and I would direct people to version one of a sales page. And on that sales page is just gonna be a headline, a video, a buy button, bullet points, and another buy button. All right, so this is this is version one of a sales page. That's all that I'm going to put on a sales page. That's literally it. So I'm not going to you know spend two weeks like writing out this uh, you know ridiculous sales page. I'm going to you know pull out my phone and I'm gonna. Hey guys, it's Greg, and uh, you know a lot of you guys have been asking about how do I create a course? How do I get a course out there as quick as possible? And so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to create a live course, and I'm gonna create it with you and help you to create your course live, and I'm gonna be doing it on X date. And in order to do that, uh, this is a course that we've been wanting to create, and blah blah blah, and it, you know we're gonna launch it, and it's gonna be a $500 program, but you know because. You're gonna be my guinea pigs, you're gonna be there live. We're gonna do it just for $199. You get a 60% discount. Click the link below to buy. I would a little more in depth than that, but I would just shoot that video. I would shoot it one take, you know, probably with an iPhone or like a webcam like this. Just me, direct to camera, no graphics, nothing fancy. And get it again, we're proving the offer. We're proving that it works. Minimum viability is what we're going for here. We are not trying to make it perfect. We're trying to say, all right, if I send this to my email list, people who already like me, have bought stuff from me in the past, can I get them to buy this pro program, product, or service? And that's all I need is a headline, the sales video. The headline is like very promised, you know, driven. So, um, you know, uh, in, in this case, it would be um, watch this special announcement from Greg as he shows you how to create, launch, and sell your first online course in less than 30 days, right? So that would be like a headline. So now it's benefit driven. Uh, it's an announcement from Greg. Again, this is like warm, friendly, fuzzy traffic. Um, and so that would be a headline that could work. There's a benefit for them. There's a promise for them. Create, launch, sell your first. Like it's not quite wordsman smith, word, wordsmithing or, you know, crazy craftsmanship of copy, but it's good enough to get out there. The sales video presents the buy button, you know, has, you know, then goes to an order form so I can collect money. The bullet points would just be uh, based on 
benefits of each module. And how I would do that is if I go back up here and I have these four modules, I would just write a benefit driven bullet point for how to come up with a course idea. So uh, how to come up with your course idea could translate into, you know, uh, the simple formula to validate your idea, even if you've never created a course before. Um, the next one, uh, how to ensure that your product offers a big promise or transformation that your marketplace wants and is excited to pay you for, like something like that. Um, you know, how to create your course outline in just 15 minutes using the proven process that Greg's used to create more than 300 courses for experts all over the world, including guys like Dan Kennedy and Brian Tracy and Michael Gerber and blah, blah, blah. You know, so now I'm just turning these four bullets, uh, these four like pieces of an outline and I'm turning them into bullet points that I can put into my copy. So that's how I would, uh, how I would create the bullet points. And then again, just repeating of the buy button. And that's what I would do to test. Now, uh, again, it, it just depends again on the goal and what you're looking to get out of this. But in a test, in order to make this something that I'm like, all right, let's go forward with this is just figuring out what your break even point is or what your go forward point is. So if I launched this to my email list and we made four sales, I would probably refund the four people. I would offer them like a free coaching call or something and I would not create the course. Uh, if you know, again, I would, I would establish minimums for myself. So maybe it's 20, right? 20 at $99, essentially two, two grand. Is it worth two grand to now move forward and create this asset? Um, if my real stretch goal is a hundred, you know, and I only got 20, do, do I want to move forward and do this? Uh, so again, those are like the decisions that you got to make in your head. And that's how I decide if I validated it and I want to move forward or if I want to go back to the drawing board, because maybe I missed the offer. Maybe I missed the transformation, but now I didn't spend three weeks, a month, two months, like building this course that nobody wants. I went out to the marketplace first and decided to have them validate the idea. So, uh, that's how I would test the course. Um, all right, let me just change this to test the course, um, to test the service. Um, I would write a letter. Might not be what you want to hear, um, but what I would do to test the service is I would just write a letter, um, and I would just get on. Um, you know, uh, I would I, I write everything in Evernote, so I would open up Evernote and I would write a letter, and I would just say, you know, hey, I, I've been thinking about you. Uh, here's what's going on in the marketplace, uh, and here's here's what, what I want to do for you. And it's an easy way for me to explain all the things that I'm going to do for you. I'm going to create your outline. I'm going to help you come up with your product idea. I'm going to help you do this. I'm going to help you do that. Um, and look, if you added all this up as individual services, like if you went to freelancer.com right now and you try to hire somebody to do your sales copy and your sales video and then create your sales page and then hook it up to your shopping cart and come up with the outline and record it for you and then edit all of the video like you know you would have spent 10 15 20 30 thousand dollars whatever the case is there but here's what i'm going to do for you you know, typically this would be a $10,000 program, but right now, uh, you know, for the first 10 that sign up, uh, I'm only doing this for 10 people. Uh, for the first 10 that sign up, I'm willing to do it for, you know, $5,000, whatever it is. Um, if you're interested, just go back to your email, reply to me and say I'm in. So the cool thing about the service side, and there's people I know like Steve and stuff who, you know, are looking for doing like group coaching and services. It's a great way to do it because literally all you have to do is write a letter, make it a PDF, send it out, and then you can just have people reply to you. Like you don't need to create sales videos and sales pages, like all these things. The letter route is, is really good. And every time I launch something via a high ticket service, I do it via a, a sales letter that I don't even put on a web page. I just design it in Microsoft Word uh, and then I save it as a PDF and then I move on and I get it out into the marketplace. So that's how I would test that service. Uh, and again, because the price point is higher, if I just get one, I'm still gonna do it, right? Because it's, it's worth uh, it's worth it to do that and then get a really good testimonial and get someone to uh, to, to say, hey. So that is, that is kind of the model, right? And that is how I think about outlining programs, products and services. If you guys have questions about that and how you can apply this, like now's the time, like ask your questions. That's what I'm here for here today as we're doing this live in the good old Facebooks. But the what I want you to remember is a couple things here is first, what is the goal? Like, what are we trying to do? Is it a revenue goal? Well, great. And if the revenue is, you know, if, if we're trying to create $10,000, right? Let's just say we're trying to create $10,000. What's the fastest path to get to $10,000? Is it, you know, selling 100 courses at 100 bucks? Is it selling a service for $1,000 and you need to sell 10 of them? Uh, is it something where, you know, you can do a higher ticket thing that's $3,000 and you need to sell like, well, three and a third of them, you know, whatever it is. Uh, what's up, Pablo? Said so he just ordered the video planner. That's awesome. Thank you so much, my friend. Uh, appreciate you doing that. Obviously, we'll We'll get, I will get it out to you as soon as we can. Uh, and make sure you grab the, the digital version, which is in the members area. And if you need anything, reach out to us. We're happy to help. Um, 
And so again, if, is, is what's the revenue goal that you wanted to generate? And that's gonna help you to decide if you wanna create a course or if you wanna create coaching or whatever it is that you wanna create. It's really going to help to dictate that and what you wanna do. Um, and then, you know, is this a, a one-time, a one-off thing? Like, so if I did it as a service, uh, as, you know, that I just broke down, it's really a one-off. So even if I get 10 people at 5,000 a piece uh, and, and it's a $50,000 thing, that's a one-time revenue source. I'm not going to be able to use again. If I create the course, I might generate less revenue in the short term, but over the long term, we might generate a lot of revenue and I'll be able to use that asset in different places. When you think about breaking it down, I always think about breaking things down in fours. What's the big promise or transformation? How do you take someone from where they are now, the A to the B? And then what are the four steps to get them there? Not 18 steps. Nobody wants to buy your 18 step program. What are the four steps in order to get them from A to B? And then uh, and then just list them out. So what's the first thing? In order to get them from A to B, what's the first thing they need to do? Then what do they need to do? Then what they need to do? And then what do they need to do? They do those four things, they get the result. That's your program, that's your service, that's your product. It really can be that simple. Um, that's all I got for you guys here today. Uh, if you guys, uh, and, and this is something that we go into so much depth in, in the Velocity program. So I'm gonna just put this on the screen really quickly. Um, and if you're interested in learning more about that, just text me 321-351-3363. Um, you know, this is a, a service, uh, a program that we have um, that is really, really cool. Um, if you're interested in it, it's a 12 weeks of curriculum mixed with 12 months of coaching where I get to work on creating your product, on creating your offer, on uh, building your ads and your funnels and your campaigns and your content and everything around it so that you can create a business at warp speed. And it's about creating profits at warp speed because I think so many people take too long. And that's why I wanted to do this live today is that so many people are, you know, they've been thinking about launching a product for like the last two years. The last year, they bought nine products from other gurus and experts. And I'm not taking anything away from that because there's great stuff in there, but you're still in thinking mode. Let's get you out of overthinking. Let's get you out of procrastination. Let's get you out of perfection and into launch mode, into velocity. And if you're interested in learning more about that program, just send me a text. It literally goes right to my phone. I text you back. Uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll just text you a link that has information on the program. Uh, there's no pressure, no shenanigans, nothing like that. If you want to join, we'd love to have you. Uh, we go live every single Monday where I, I'm basically your Monday morning quarterback and I help you uh, you know, create your webinars. I help you create your funnels, create your campaigns, create your ads. I jump into your ads account and we look at them and we see what's working, what's not working. Uh, we look at your videos to see how they can be improved. We look at your calls to action, all of that stuff. Uh, we do that every single Monday. In addition to that, you get 12 months or 12 weeks of curriculum. How do you create products? How do you create offers? How do you create ads? How do you create content? How do you create campaigns and funnels um, in depth of how to do this stuff so you get the skill set? If you're interested in that, just text me 321 351 3363. I'll send you the info. Uh, if you're interested, awesome. If you're not, awesome. Um, you guys, uh, can you guys, you guys can't see that because uh, I didn't have that on the screen, but now you do. Um, there's the text number three two one three five one three three six three. Again, it goes right to my phone. Would love to have you in the program. I hope that this was valuable for you guys here today to learn a little bit about how you can create things at warp speed. And and again, I didn't come in here with any like pre proceed Like I just came and I, I did this all on the fly. Less, uh, we're at 32 minutes. We've been live now, and we created a complete program course, uh, all of that stuff. Uh, Pablo, uh, the number just threw it on the screen. Uh, three two one three five one three three six three. Yep, that is uh, that's the text number. It goes right to. Uh, right to here, and I'll shoot you the info uh, about that program. Uh, again, it's 12 weeks of training, skill building. Uh, it's not about new opportunities, anything like that. It's about skill building, and then uh, you get me to work on your business with you in this small group every week for the next 12 months. So really cool. I appreciate you guys being here. I hope that you had a, a, a good time. You learned some stuff. You took some notes, and most importantly, you saw how possible this stuff is in order to get out into the marketplace. You don't have to make this you know, something ridiculous that takes forever. We can do this quick. So appreciate you guys. Have a great weekend, a great Memorial Day weekend, and uh, I will talk to you guys real, real soon. Thanks so much for checking out this episode of The Velocity Sessions. Please be sure to like this, share this, subscribe, leave a review. We would surely appreciate it. And more importantly, we hope that you use this information to start growing your business at warp speed.